what should be the CAT preparation plan for college students, especially students who are just finishing their uh, third year or pre-final year, getting into their final year, to what should they do now? Uh, to start with, the, there'll be a lot of people who say that this exam is entry into MBA is easier if you if you have experience. Quite a few who will say that you'll get more value if you have experience. Both of those statements are true. And it's it's definitely easier for someone with two years experience to get in than for a fresher. It's definitely more value to be gained if you have experience pre-MBA. Right? But that is not a deal breaker. It is in your interest to crack CAT and go to a great B school right straight out of college. It's in your best interest. Suppose you get an admit from Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, you should jump and take it. Suppose you get a decent admit, you should take it. Right? So the level of discrimination uh, in jobs post MBA based on your pre MBA experience is very little. So if you have three years experience before MBA and you get a job, if you're a fresher pre MBA and you get a job, both jobs after MBA are more or less the same. And so in your, you will jump start your post MBA career if you join as a fresher. Quite a few internships like freshers. So it's, it's a great deal for you if you get in. It's tougher to get in, it'll probably take less value than others, but big deal. If you have a chance, grab it. And so, so remove this block that it is incredibly tough for you and it's less useful for you. Both of those are irrelevant. And it's tougher for you, it's less useful for you, both are not material. If you get a chance, you should grab it. And, and the, quite simply, your final year of whatever undergraduation you're doing is the best time to prepare. And I've been a final year student, I've met lots of final year students, quite likely the six month period or one year period in your life where you are the most jobless intensely with free time is this spell of 12 months. You're going to do a project or an internship, all, all roundabout ways of saying you're doing nothing. And so you could have the odd tough course and all that that everybody has, but compared to what you could get into in a job or during an MBA or in a job post MBA, this six month period in your beginning of your final year and the last semester in your final year when you're preparing for your interviews are the best. So throw everything into preparing for this exam. Prepare from basics, practice aggressively, maintain some discipline in taking mocks. These three are very important facets. Those of you who are looking at a, as a summer vacation break equivalent, jump start your preparation now. So you get six weeks off before your final semester, put a bunch of things on hold and go berserk covering large swaths of perhaps quant or, or DILR. Make sure that you get very comfortable with the conceptual foundation for all of that. This five weeks, six weeks, which you throw in probably May, June of, the, of the, this year, before your seventh semester or your fifth semester begins, depending on what course you're doing, that will that is worth its weight in gold. It's fabulously useful. So jumpstart your preparation by doing a lot during this holiday period. Definitely give CAT a go this year. It is tougher. It is probably slightly less useful, but both of these don't matter. You get a chance, you grab it. It's a massive, massive, massive advantage to finish your MBA uh, straight after college. Take it from someone who finished, I didn't have experience pre-MBA. It's a huge advantage for you. It's tougher and you take less value, but those are not material. Is it a good deal for you? Definitely yes. Don't listen to anybody who says it's not a great deal for the student. And it's tougher, but not impossible. And so best wishes for Ken.